my bike. Welcome back to Viking MTG. Here for a uh, quick random pack cracking. Got some random packs. I went to get a couple singles that I uh, that I needed. It was too short of a playset of this, and I have a feeling he's going to be played a lot after cycle. There's a lot of uses for him. Uh, I think he's heavily overlooked right now. So we'll see how that goes. See if that's a wise choice. He's pretty cheap right now too. Uh, he's three bucks a piece. So got some uh, random packs to crack here. Oh, got a foil on our first pack. Thunderhood Migration, Forerunner of the Coalition. Swift Warden and a foil Kamena's Awakening. Spicy. And we have a flip. Journey to Eternity. I'm not sure if Kamena's Awakening is worth anything. But like I've said before, I'm trying to stick with um, steer away from Kaladesh, the four sets that are cycling. You know, hunting for masterpieces in them is it's fun and all, but the value is just not out there in the singles. Unless you hit him in foil, it's very specific. So I'm not going to lose a ton of value. In the fast lands, I'd rather just buy them on the on eBay at this point. Because everybody, because the product's out of print, even though there, it's not at all worth, you know, $120 for a box, everybody's cranking the price up. We got Relentless Raptor, Flood of Recollection. I do recollect. Siren Reaver, and then a Linda. Bam. Nice Mythic. She is going to go up with the next set. I guarantee she's going to go up. There will be more Vampires. Uh, I know they're going to print Vampires and Guilds. There's just no way they don't print vampire, uh, Vampires and Guilds around. Uh, they have to. I guess, really, they don't have to. You can't really tell what Wizards is going to do these days, but my guess is they will. We have a Reckless Rage, Merfolk Mistbinder, Baffling End, and a Mastermind's Acquisition. It's a good card, too. So, a foil rare and three good cards out of this set. There's a Phoenix Token. Fortunately, not the Phoenix itself. That would have been nice. We have an Untamed Kabu, a Spore Crown Thalid, Two Headed Giant, and a Beard Steward of Argive. Two Headed Giant is the rare, terrible rare. Oh, I hate seeing that card. It's the worst rare in the set. And the gambling rares never turn out to be much. Any one of the ones where you have to flip a coin or whatever. It's just it's like people don't like that value-wise. It's always a fun novelty. Like, Ratty Crew's a lot of fun, but it's not going to get put in competitive decks. Alright, we got an Urza's Tome, a Knight of Grace, Board the Weatherlight, we had, this means we have a uh, Legendary, Naromeha, so our second Mythic of this series of packs. Forest and a Sap Token, and here we go, got two packs of Iconic Masters, Let's see how we do here. Just a I know it's a random smattering of packs, but I wanted more stuff that's going to be in the after, in modern after the cycle. So I mean, in uh, standard after the cycle, we have a coordinated assault, a wing shards, a gruel turf, and a horizon canopy. Bam! What a hit, man! What a hit! And an overgrown battlement. That should pay for all the packs. 
What's it sitting at? I think it's at 40 bucks. Let's take a look. I think that's about as good as we can do other than mana drain. Oh, wow. Oh, that's in foil. What are we looking at here? $52. Wow. Uh, $50 card right there. And we're not done yet. Second pack of Iconic. See what we get. All right, first uncommon is an Azorus Charm. We have a Bog Brew Witch, a Simic Growth Chamber, and a rare is a Curse of Predation. Our foil is a Foil Festering Newt. I don't believe Curse of Predation is worth anything. And a bird. And let's see what Curse of Predation is worth. Nineteen cents. <laughs> but we hit a fifty-five fifty dollar horizon canopy. We hit a uh, narrow meha. And a Linda, and a Journey to Eternity is still a $2 card. So I would say we did well, uh, really well. And the Horizon Canopy, that puts a big old smile on my face. That's an awesome hit. Just awesome. It only could be better in foil. But man, what a hit. The day is born within its branches. Nice. I hope everybody enjoyed this quick little pack crack. Um, I do want. I will be doing my uh, patron grab bag live stream tomorrow at 4:30 Arizona time. That's ahead of an hour ahead of Pacific and three hours behind Eastern. So don't miss it. I will also be doing a giveaway. I will be giving away an item during that um, during that live stream. So make sure you're there. Uh, it's a good time for East Coast and West Coast to even be able to slip in there, I'd hope. Uh, so let me know. I mean, just be there. It'd be a lot of fun. Perhaps we might give away that Horizon Canopy. We'll see. Uh, hope everybody enjoyed this. And uh, by the way, I will be making a video probably tonight. I have my fantasy draft tonight. I might do it later, but I'm going to make a video about all the spoilers and uh, guilds and my predictions for guilds of Ravnica. Um, I think I think it's going to be a real good set. I really do think it's going to be a great set. The Rye, is it, is it Viceroy? Looks really good. Uh, there's a lot of really good cards, and I'm thinking that Blue Red after this is going to be the set to beat. It's going to be the um, the color. Red blue is going to be dominating. But we shall see. Uh, there's also a lot in green. That's for sure. There's a lot of good green stuff out there. Green black could be a, a major gruel. I guess it's called uh, Golgari. Golgari could be big. Uh, we'll see. I hope everybody enjoyed this. Um, I know I did. It's a good time. And uh, keep an eye out for more. I'll be back. Peace.